Hi, beautiful souls. I'm sharing a little light today on the great shift in consciousness, which is currently well underway on this beautiful planet. When I discovered my life purpose a few years back, I realised, my goodness, yes, everything makes sense why I was led to this place, in this now, right now. When I worked with dogs, I worked with dogs because I love dogs. But then I realised I actually had to work with the people in order to help dogs. And so again, in order to help this planet and the nature and the animals and all life here on this beautiful planet and in the cosmos, we have to help one another. We have to help humanity. We have to help humanity to raise its consciousness because it's humanity that is affecting this earth, not just through their actions, but also through their conscious or unconscious behaviour, because everybody is constantly emitting thoughts and thoughts are electrical and they create. When beautiful golden Atlantis fell apart and began devolving thousands of years ago, it kept on, kept on, kept on. And now we're at this point where I would say probably, I don't know how many years now, but guys. Gaia's frequency has raised. The Earth's frequency is much higher now. And because it's higher and because the people's frequencies, most humans on this Earth plane um, are probably existing from the third dimensional frequency. And so they're not as high. So they're feeling a lot of of uh, turbulence, a lot of turbulence within themselves, a lot of they're very um, off centre. And what's happening is that's an experience for people to bring up all of the debris from thousands of years, thousands of years to the surface to be resolved. So if you're just a average human being <laughs> going about your day, maybe you don't know about different lifetimes and all of this sort of stuff, which is again all happening now because we're quantum beings. But if you are not consciously taking note of when a negative thought comes to the surface and you're not clearing it in the here and now, what will happen is that you will accumulate more of that muck and that sludge and it's going to really shake you a lot because not only is the frequency of the earth higher than the most humans, the earth is also purging. While humans are purging, the earth is purging. And so people do have to be very much aware, letting go, releasing, because when we can let go and we can release, and when we can be really conscious and calm and relaxed and focus on what we're wanting to create and what we want to see here on this earth plane, we assist other consciousness of humanity to change as well. And this is vital, this is vital for the evolution of this planet, because you see, whilst the earth is also experiencing purging, that means floods, that means volcanoes, that means earthquakes, because that's also bringing up, and we're, we're not separate, we are the earth. When we die, we go back to Gaia. We're just, we're just borrowing these physical bodies. We're borrowing these physical bodies from her. She lent us these for, for our trip here to this earth plane. And so whilst the earth is also like this, purging, and the humanity is feeling that purge going on because we are standing on the earth. We are connected to the earth. We're electrical beings, you know. So we need to be earthed. We need to keep ourselves earthed. We're also getting a, an, an influx of high frequency light and that light just keeps on coming and it keeps coming and it keeps coming, it keeps ramping up. And so we're also getting that at the same time. And so a lot of people have no idea why they feel out of sorts and they don't understand why certain things are going on. And it's so easy to get caught up in fear because like all of the old structures are sort of like falling apart and coming unstuck. And there are some not so wonderful beings on this planet that want to pillage and want their greed and their avarice and things like this. They're still very much in that frame of that's what works well, not works, but that's what they want. They want that. They want to suck as much of the resources dry as they possibly can because they're so, so embedded in that that uh, that debased frequency that that's all they can see. They're just so focused on 
take, 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 take. And of course, when you want to take, 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 well, the best thing to do is make those around you that you want to take from, they don't notice it, they don't see it, so that they're compliant. So you create fear, you create fear so that people don't see things, yeah? And they're easier to control when they're fearful. And when people are fearful, then they're not conscious creators. And so my invitation today is, please make sure that if you're not consciously creating, that you do indeed consciously create so that we can change this beautiful planet and help this beautiful planet to restore her perfect, divine and beautiful well-being and optimised health. And of course, that also provides optimised health for all natural kingdoms on this beautiful planet. And of course, the humanity and throughout the whole cosmos, being harmless to all and loving and being kind to all. You know, kind and loving to the animals. People say they're, oh, I'm an animal fan. No, no, you're not. No, you like pets. You like cats. You like dogs. But you're quite happy to eat cows and and pigs and sheep and stuff like that. You know, this, this kind of behaviour is so devolved. From the early start, like, animals were not supposed to be eaten. That wasn't their purpose. They didn't come here for that. So... You know, I get my intel from my, my heart, I go within, and I get my intel from within. And I suggest everybody do that. Everybody go meditate and go within and find the truth for yourself within you, the truth for yourself within you. And pay attention. If you've got thoughts coming through that are of a heavy nature or something maybe come up from your childhood, you're like, oh, I didn't realise uh, I'd forgotten all about that work through it forgive it forgive all people involved you know let it pass let it dissipate be thankful i thank you for the lesson i let you go with love i let you go with love i forgive all involved thank you for for showing me something that i didn't realize i'd hidden from myself we just keep working through that from a neutral standpoint from divine neutrality and together we will create peaceful loving and joyful planet beautiful world and we will change our future and our trajectory to one that is much more peaceful and loving and i thank my dear friend my little home oak tree that was taken far too early today because that little tree did a lot of good in its lifetime here provided shade provided joy for children Children like me, when I was a child, I used to play on that tree. People, dogs sniffing it. And it's just, it's been a part of this landscape for a long time. And it's worth celebrating and thanking it for its services here on this beautiful Gaia. I wish you all joy. And I hope that everybody does their responsible part to keep raising the frequency and raising the frequency of themselves. Be responsible for yourself so that you can assist others in the process. And this is what it's all about. When people talk about the great shift in, con in, in consciousness, this is what it is. This is what it is. You want to make sure that the earth is safe. You have to look after the humans and get the humans to sort themselves out because they're creating all of this, not just through their thoughts, but through their behaviors too. I send you all love and I wish you well. My name is Zaza. Like, subscribe and share if you feel called to do so. Thank you very much.